The strength of this team is our togetherness. We care about one another and we care about this club. That is our strength. Start fast, front load your energy in the effort areas, deliver the pressure cycle. Okay, let's go and enjoy this one, boys. All the best. Uh, at the stage of this season, we've no idea what we're going to get from either side. No, you're certainly right, George. You know, at this stage, they're very much in sort of pre-season mode, aren't they? Obviously, you know, with, with, with the season that's about to come up, who's prepared, who's done all their work, which side's going to execute that game plan. And, you know, ultimately, George, it's just about winning. Judges and referee Liam Rush. Somebody's going to the bin. Oh, oh red card. card! Red card for Will Dagger. Oh dear me! I'm gonna put the fucking flag in the ring now, boys. Who's gonna rise up the second half here? You've got a fucking shit fight this sec second four here. Who's gonna stand up and be accounted for and work that fucking ten percent harder for the boys that are off the field? We'll get one back in Jordan, but we're still one down. It's gonna take a fucking mighty effort here, boys. You've got to ask yourself, are you in for this fucking fight? These are your, your mates, these are mates you have for life. Like you hold each other at such high regard to let someone down or to do something that would take away from the team performance. Or for me personally, that would play on me. Like I feel like I let more people down than just myself. It's hard to find a team that all buys into it. Working hard for the guy next year, but we fucking got it in abundance, boys. That showed today. So I'm proud of you, especially middle boys. Fucking must have been tough in there for you today, but I thought you did a right job. You know, I don't think Sheffield will I'll have to work harder for a win than that. And we was down to 11 men, 12 men for the majority of the game. And I just thought the togetherness that we showed, and you know, I've been in teams where that's rolled away and it's gone to 50, and it could easily happen that it doesn't because we're willing to work for the guy next to us, and, and that's a real good culture to have. We're not here for cars or status. That's not what it's about. It's about the love for the game and our belief in ourselves and each other. If you want to go and do your own thing or not really be committed to the cause, it's going to be completely seen within the group because we're all all in. We're all all in on it. And until we're a full time, until we're a Super League team, that's how it's going to be. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> feel the responsibility just to continue doing what I was doing. You know, I was made captain for a reason and I've always tried to lead by example. I've always tried to make sure I'm there for, for people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in New Zealand, we lived in Urdahu, South Auckland, so that's where born and bred. Um, I've had it pretty lucky, we're straight out of school into full time with New Zealand Warriors there, and then progressed on to Cabo Raiders, um, and then now I'm, I'm here in England, yeah. Families, man, just miss them all the time. No, it's kind of the drive that gets me going. Um, trying to hold a staunch for you, mate. Like, yeah. I just grew up playing the sport for me pop um, and me old boy. Every day, I remember we used to walk about seven, seven o'clock, walk to school at 7.30, play rugby on the tennis courts for like an hour before school, go have a shower, and then go into school. Jesse, he's real stubborn. He's the stubbornest guy you ever meet, but he's a loyal friend. Me and Jesse have kind of grown close because when you come from far away from home, you kind of, in a sense, you kind of have nobody or no one's gonna really be there in a, in a way that your family would back home, you know? So I reckon within the last year since we've lived together, like that guy's had my back. Interview all three of us. Good boy. See ya, see ya. <laughs> 
Ah, on va plus loin. Dad always said how you treat others is a reflection on your family. So I just say who I treat, how I treat them, that looks good on, on my family. Everyone has their own shit that they're dealing with. But I think when you come to training, there's no better release than just having banter or just, you know, ripping in in the gym. And I'd be lying if I said the one times when boys have been struggling or I'd been struggling and and you have to speak to someone. And I think we've created an environment where, where you can do that. You know, I, I try and pride myself on that. You know, I'd, I'd be there to speak to anybody. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a great escape. Yeah, we know we're going to be up against a very good side um, that will challenge us. Uh, and ultimately, they're a very similar position to us. They're licking their wounds. They're coming off the back of a uh, disappointing result and a disappointing performance uh, the week before. So I think both teams will be looking to, to react in the right way, which will make it for a, a great contest. Let's win those collisions. Let's win those contacts. Let's be fucking relentless, boys. Let's go. All owners in, the, in every club in the rugby league world are like ducks at the moment. Like, you know, calm above water, confidence, but deep under their, their paddling. They're kicking just to keep moving but it's a crazy world like nothing like this has ever happened before in the world of rugby league fuck I can't control it OG Beaver can clint as, as much as he thinks he can but he's fucking he's got a, he's got a bit on fuck we are fucking going after them today defensively okay we're going after them all right we're gonna fucking out complete them in the effort areas no doubt about it that's a non-negotiable today. Clint believes in Hendo, Hendo believes in us. And I'm, I'm itching, I'm chomping at the bit, but you can see it, you can see the energy's building, the excitement's building from, from the inside out, and it's blowing up. Like, people in the town are talking about people, and you come across go, Jesus, like, he's have a big year ahead of his. Josh Daly, newly introduced. Oh, nice away, and daggers away like lightning down the field. Fortio plays inside him, Richie Myler. They are, I think we can safely say, in the semi-finals of the 1895 Cup.